Once so I um had I had a like a um, idea that I shared on Facebook, and basically it's getting any photography, adding a layout to it, and as you guys can see here through Adobe Photoshop, I have this uh, American outline. So when it's all done and said, I, you guys will be able to see um, something similar to this American flag, but it will be just your image like this. But because it's multi-layered, you'll see it some like this with the American flag uh, layer on top of it and you can actually choose any type of um, pattern outline um, that you that you would like to to use uh, for for your design and I guess I suppose it could be anything um, for example I'm gonna grab a new one and drag it over here my computer is being slow Oh, there it is. So, I'll hide the the, the, Ameri the American flag one, and I'm gonna play around with this one here. Now, say for example, you wanted to do this one, then it will be basically repeated, something like this. So, when you're done, it, what you will have is an illusion like this and it will appear like this so it will be taking photography and imagery uh, photo framing to a different level and basically all it is is um, you, you what you're gonna do is you're, you're basically gonna be cutting out a different layer of um, like over the and you're gonna repeat that process over and over and over and it's very simple I mean I'm probably not explaining it correctly but it's going to be something like this see how so basically the first layer is you will cut all the red ones Boom, you cut all that. And then once you have that all cut out, then you'll basically paste them or glue them on back on the paper. So you have just your image that you originally wanted, but it will look like that because of the of the multi-layered image. But of course it will align. So it will look like this, like a little drop shadow. And yes, you can throw a outline behind it, but it, it defeats the purpose and it's just to have fun and to do something different. So I decided to go with this one. It's basically the American flag and I'll show you guys an image of the finished um, product or for example, and I saved it as a PDF, so I had to print two of these, and it basically it's a, um, it's just a, a piece of paper, and then I have this one, and this is also a piece of paper, the size of a piece of paper, the U.S. paper, so I printed two of these, and I painted, uh, printed three of these. Uh, because I'm going to use 
both to both of these that I printed out and I'm gonna overlap them with these and I'm gonna cut that out but for the first two of these over here I'm going to use one of these and I'm gonna do all the dark black just the, the outlines so um, I'm gonna just one piece of paper of that one and then and then these p these black ones what that I cut out are going to be pasted right here so going back to face I mean um, um, Photoshop the black ones will basically be pasted right here and right here and and then the third one I'll cut out the stars only so all these little stars I'm gonna cut them and then glue them over here where they belong so at the end when I'm done it should look something like this but with, without like the the dark and all that it would just be a little outline of what I'm talking about and I guess this can be done anyone can do it and I guess the more people catch up on this and start doing it if you guys find this appealing or creative enough um, it could be sold in Etsy and stuff like that because yes there's one thing about just getting your images printed and framing it and you know paint and stuff like that but doing something like this is totally different you can't print it out you know it's it's a process and um, it's custom work that someone would have to do for you for you to frame and post on on um, your walls and stuff like that so it's pretty much like um, a multi-layered um, wood plaque so I could I could do a quick search on that um, multi layer wood black something like this and usually people do this uh, for like this this type of stuff like um, vectors and then they glue them so in the same way it's, it's similar to that but with imagery so that's the only example that I that I can see at the moment. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Make your own designs, create your own videos, share your design with other people, and I guess everyone will start making stuff like that and selling it or just to have fun just to have at your home or whatever it's really up to you what you want to do. I hope you guys like this video um, if you guys like this idea go to Facebook I have a um, uh, a page it's called um, invent or don't invent on Facebook and you guys can find it I going to facebook.com slash invent or don't invent and you guys will find the page there it looks similar to this right here and there's a bunch of ideas in there for you guys to look at that I basically thought of and put together and just put in there for for us to look at and maybe do one day and be creative so God bless everyone.